Hey guys, welcome back to another video and this is Take on Tottenham. My name is Ben and as you know, this is just a channel where it's my take on Tottenham. Um, it's just a fan channel, one of many who has an opinion on this football club in particular. Um, so as you might have seen in my first video, um, all introduction stuff, so you know who I am, you know my views um, and yeah, we're going to get into a transfer window video i spoke about in the previous one and i just wanted to get my thoughts across who i think should leave the club because there's, i do think there's some people now that just need to move on um so yeah let's get to it davinson sanchez i have a bit of a love hate relationship with davinson sanchez he's great on fifa we need to establish that he's brilliant on fifa um but he needs to go, I think. I, I don't think it's worked out. He was initially a club record signing, and I just don't think it's worked out. Um, he just... He doesn't... He's not reliable for me. Um, he has mistakes in him. Yes, every player does. Every defender does. But every time I see him, I don't feel reassured at the back. I feel like something bad's going to happen. I feel... Sometimes he just doesn't seem aware of where he is. Some I, I see balls go over the top and he's spinning around. Like I don't know what the issue there. I don't know if it's confidence. I don't know if he's just not fitting in with the team. But every time I've seen him, it doesn't fill me with any confidence when he's uh, in our defence. Um, so, yeah, I think for me, Sanchez may be time to move on. And I just think we just have to hold our hands up and go, it didn't work. It's a shame because most players that come from Ajax are pretty good for us we've got a good history of um with Ajax but this one might I don't think it's worked out too well um Eric Lamella um apart from Christian Eriksen probably one of the only ones that seemed to semi work out from the bail money um I don't think he's been the amazing signing he could have been I think when he we when we signed him it was with a lot of potential I think he uh had quite a reputation from Roma um, obviously he was Argentinian as well and it's never really worked out I wouldn't say he's ever had a blinding season um, I think he's had good seasons but he's been plagued by injuries he's had massive massive layoffs as well with I think he had an injury that lasted him a year or two I think so um, Lamella as much as I do love him in the team I think, again, in terms of going into a new era with Spurs and trying to get some new blood in the team, I think it might be time for Lamella, Lamella, Lamella to move on. I've heard a rumour that Brighton are interested, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if there's any truth in that. But, yeah, I think maybe time for Lamella to move on. Reluctantly, so it's definitely a case of what could have been with him. But, um, yeah, I think it's time... Time for a new start. Yeah. So, Musa Sissoko. <laughs> what an up and down journey for Sissoko. Hated. I ain't going to lie. I hated it. I hated the sign in. I, it felt like a panic buy to me. And it's just kind of slowly improved. And then he had a really breakout season a couple of years ago. Now, apparently, according to the documentary, is a pivotal um, part of the dressing room. Um, and I think people will be happy with the story of Sissoko. I think initially he was going to go after a season. He wasn't fitting in. He wasn't playing. When he did play, he did nothing. Um, and I think now, I think he's probably at a point where he could probably get a decent move. I do think, again, it's it, like Lamella. I think it's the sort of thing where maybe it's time to move on. I think that he does have promise. I don't think he's the same player that he was probably at that Euros where he had a really good um, tournament with France. But I, I'm glad that he's improved, but I do think it's time to move on um, for him. But um, yeah, it's just, just to freshen it up. We need a bit of a freshen up at Spurs. Ryan Sessegnon. I was so happy when we signed him. Um, I have really wanted us to sign Sessegnon way before we actually did. Um, I thought he was a perfect player for Spurs and... I definitely see him in our future. I think a loan move uh, for Sessegnon. I think he would benefit from a loan move better. And um, yeah, hopefully he'll be our future left, left mid, left winger. But yeah, Sessegnon stays, but goes out on loan. Juan Foyf, uh, he leaves 
in my opinion, I think to get the homegrown numbers ratio up again, um, I think Foyf just needs to leave. It's not really worked out. I do like him, but I just think he'd be better off at maybe like a Palace or maybe a Sheffield United. Even a loan deal, um, maybe. But uh, I do think that he's not going to be breaking into the team much um, this season. Serge Aurier. Re <sighs> I was going to say reluctantly, but then I think about all the mistakes and I go, no, Serge Aurier goes. He leaves and that's it. I think he's been really poor defensively. Massive respect for him for playing during when his uh, when he lost his brother. Um, I really respect him for that. Not a lot of people would be able to do that. But I also go back to games where, like Bayern, where he absolutely got exposed. Um, he He's not a good defender. He's not a bad right winger. If we played him in a more advanced role, then maybe, but he's not good defensively and he's classes as a, as a defender. He's got too many mistakes in him. Penalties, red cards, he goes. First name on the transfer out list is Oreo for me. And I think that's it, really. Danny Rose looks to be going out. So that's a shame the way it's gone. I wish it had ended better for him, but... I think it was always going to happen. We've seen them clash in the documentary with Jose. And I think he just wants... It's probably best for everyone, I think, if he goes. I wish it had been under better circumstances. But it looks like Dan Danny Rose's long tenure at Spurs is coming to an end. So, um, so Danny Rose, probably, in my opinion as well, should leave. Um, so, yeah. So, that is it. Uh, let me know what you think about this. Um, I'm interested to see what you guys think. Um, like I said, brand new channel, so um, I really welcome feedback. Um, and yeah, let me know who you think you think should be going out of the club. Um, I'm probably going to do... I was going to say probably a transfers in one, but I think we're kind of sorting that out at, at the club itself. Uh, so I don't really need to do that. Um, Bale and Regulon, Regulon look to be... Uh, happening still pessimistic I'm not getting my hopes up until he's holding that Spurs shirt at the training centre I am not getting my hopes up about anything you never know in football you never know so yeah <sighs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, if you did please leave a like and a comment and also hit the subscribe button I really appreciate it I've got loads of really good video ideas uh, coming up and I can't wait for you to see it so I'll see you guys in the next video have an amazing day and hopefully we'll get Bale and Regal on over the line today see you guys in the next video and as always come on you Spurs